What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's video is going to be about the CPI um, cross laser. Alrighty, so, you, so this CPI laser is the CL101G. It's the green laser. Uh, let's start by just taking a look. So the whole kit comes with uh, the laser itself got a mounting bracket, uh, an angle, X spare battery, a little clip, like a little Velcro something clip on the back side. Also comes with a charger for the batteries because they're all rechargeable, double A's I think, and just a little cable that's with it as well. So I've been using this bad boy for about three months now at work. Comes in handy all the time. Just today we used it. We were packing down a ceiling um, and we needed to get a height that's equal throughout the whole room. So what I did was I set up my laser on one of the frames and one of the studs that were running on the wall. Lined it up, shot a line across the whole room. Got my measurement down from the ceiling and then marked it. And when we ran our ceiling battens, they all were at the same height, so we either had to pack them out 10 mil here, five mil here, three mil here, whatever, whatever. So then it worked out that the whole ceiling became level because of this little, this little beauty here. This is how I clamp, uh, screwed it onto the wall using this bracket here. Basically just got, drilled a screw through that hole just there, up on the wall, and then it, it's a self-leveling laser. Spare battery and the square that it comes with. And this also, that scares the shit. This is magnetic at the back. So I've used it on something that's magnetic, but it's not super duper strong, so it does kind of fall off. I just, I feel more safe with the screw, you know, I must say. So this is the charger hooked up. As you can see here, it's showing that it's charging all the batteries. Got a little clip like that. Okay, so I'll explain these buttons on the side here. This first one is locked, so that means that these are gonna be locked in place, these two lines that create. So basically you'll have a straight edge for either one. Doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna be level, but the lines will be straight. The next one over is the unlock. So once this is unlocked, the gimbal is unlocked and it's free to move. So when you place it down, it's gonna find its own level. That's how these things work and how they become like really accurate. All right, so this is the unlock. You can see how it's wiggling around in there. So this is what gives it its plumb line. And this is how it becomes super accurate. Alrighty, well, enough talk about this. Let's get into it and let's have a look and see what it does. You can see it's super duper bright once the um, lights are off, but let's have a look with the lights on. Alrighty, so I'll just place it against here for now. These lights are on, on full, and that line. So you can see how it's not level right now. This is because it's on the locked feature, but just have a look at how bright that thing is. That's nice. I'm just gonna change the mode onto the lighter setting. So as you can see, it did go down a bit in color. I'll swap it back. There you go, see the difference? In the line mode. Alrighty, so now that we've seen the locked mode, let's switch it into the gimbal mode and you're gonna see this just s drop into level. So at the moment we have our horizontal line that runs perfectly level all across the room. So if I was to get a tape and measure this distance, which I will, Alrighty, so as you can see, I've got the line uh, horizontally around the whole room. Best way to check if it is level. We've got about 74 and 74. So this line right here is perfectly level, and so is this uh, beading that I put up myself. So now that we've seen the horizontal, let's check out the vertical. And to switch that over, it's just as easy as one bloody, one click of a bloody button. Boom. So this is now just the vertical line that runs up the whole length of the room. 
all the way down and it stops just up, just here. Uh, as you can see, that is the level vertical line and it stops just there with a point. That's just right on top, just there. So if I am, if I am going to move this around, I would like to lock it off. So you lock it off, goes back to cross, roughly get it in position, put it back, Back on the line. And there you go. If I, was, if I wanted to line my corner up. And there you go, I've just lined the corner up. Alrighty, to put them both on is the same thing. All I do is click the line button once again and we both have a horizontal and vertical plumb line. So these things are awesome to have around site. Uh, can go from anything from putting doors up architraves, basically anything that you need to use for level. Quick little hot tip for you guys, if you do end up getting yourself one of these awesome little CPI lasers, pick up one of these just like um, tripods for your camera. Cheap one, not too expensive. Uh, the, you can also get the tripods for this, but if you don't want to, Mate, these things are cheap as. I use this at site all the time just to take a couple of videos. At the bottom here, you'll see there's a little piece where the um, bracket holds onto. It actually fits a camera mount. So this one's just for any old standard camera. So what I do is I screw the old girl on. Clip her in. So now I've got my uh, tripod all set up. I can like I can lower it if I wanted to. I can raise it. Um, pretty good to have. They're really handy, I think. So also you can notice once I move around. If I move around too much, it beeps at you. Swears at me. Look. Basically, what that's telling me is it's going too far out of level that it can't correct itself because the gimbal has a tolerance that it can do. It. So just a quick recap about the things I like about it. Uh, that beeping feature so you know that you're going too far out of level, it lets you know. Rechargeable batteries, they're so good to have because if it does go out, it's just like anything else, chuck it on charge. It comes with four so you can swap one of them out if you need to. You can, it actually has space in the case for two extra batteries so buy, buy two more batteries and then just swap them out when you need. And a little tip for you, get yourself one of those tripods come in handy so much. Change that level, because not all the time will you be able to put this bracket up, but that tripod, mate, you can put it anywhere. So, alrighty guys, thanks for watching the video. Hope you like the quick review on the CPI. Um, only difference I would make if I was to go back is honestly, I'd probably get the 360. Now the 360 is pretty similar to this. The only difference is it runs a whole laser around the whole room. And stay tuned, you might be seeing a review on that one soon. Awesome guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like it, and there'll be more videos coming out soon. Don't catch me!